Hello and welcome to the first vlog on my YouTube channel. Um, this is Ashley, by the way, in case I'm sure no strangers are watching this, so it doesn't really matter. This is our first trip to the Sonoma Valley, and here we are at the hotel, and you'll get some footage from there. Um, in the future, I'm hoping to have better videos, but for now, um, this is our first shot, so... Hang in there with us, okay? So this is the Hyatt Regency Sonoma and it's in Santa Rosa. And we came here because I had a collaboration with them for my Instagram. So next you're gonna see our hotel room tour, which I did um, record that voiceover live. So hopefully that's okay. Um, and that's with the camera audio. But yeah, um, here's our look around. our room. This is the Hyatt Regency in Santa Rosa. And it's really cute. It's a king size bed. And we'll go around over here. That's Dustin hiding in the corner so you don't see him. We just have a shower. I'm disappointed that there's no tub, if we're honest. Here's the bathroom. The amenities look nice though. Like that. And they have like these full sized toiletries in the shower. And there's the toilet room. Stop. So we um, are here to promote this brew and bed or bed and brew I think it's called maybe and so you get beer when you check in and look at this you get a cute little board that goes with your beer how cute is that it looks delicious and look we have this too if I can find the opening in the curtain sorry Oh, I think it's locked. Nope, I locked it. Okay, this is fun. Okay, took me a second to open it, but yeah, we have a balcony. It's very small. There's like, not chairs or anything, but you could come out here and enjoy the view of the resort. So after we checked out our room, we went to do a little tour of the amenities um, for the social media collaboration. And here is all of that. And I will go ahead and speed it up for you just in case you want to see the amenities here. So after checking out some of the amenities, we went to this wine tasting that the hotel offers in their lobby on Friday nights. Then we headed out for a little walk down to the old railroad square in Santa Rosa, which is something that um, several people told me was worth doing and checking out.
so I felt so silly because um, I had been dilly-dallying and we walked over to the visitor center which I assumed was closed because it was um, the evening on Friday and it had just barely closed by the time we got there so if I had just gone a little faster or had a little bit my more priority than we would have been able to check it out but we did see a train and then we went and saw this comic and toy store which was very cool like they had so many old toys in there that were very cool they even had something um my husband's brothers had when they were like little kids um they had the exact toy there so it was a really cool shop For dinner, we wanted to check out Girl and the Fig in Sonoma, and quite frankly, when I made the reservation, I had no idea how far it was from the hotel, and it was like halfway back to our house, um, so I felt a little silly. This is always the hardest part for me when I'm learning a new area. Um, I don't know, I just take people's word for it that things are gonna be close to each other and it ends up not being that way. So we got some drinks and some olives and that was all very delicious. I actually had to ask them to strain out my cocktail though because there was so much rosemary in it and I kept choking on it. But I got the steak frites and Dustin got the salad and we ended up sharing both of those plates. Um, they were both very delicious this place was absolutely packed on a Friday night it was full of people and very loud um, and then we got dessert which was these warm chocolate chip cookies and a milkshake and everyone around us had the same dessert so we had to give it a try so I always joke that I can't even so much as look at a milkshake. So don't you worry. Um, I brought plenty of lactate, as you can see here on this trip, because I know that this area is very famous for their dairy products. Um, so I came prepared. We enjoyed our dessert and our dinner was delicious. And after that, we went back to the hotel and called it a night. So here we are the next morning and we are walking around the property. Um, I had more clips to take for the collaboration I was doing. So we did check out an area that we hadn't seen the day before, which was this really beautiful water feature as well as this outdoor area where they have weddings and stuff. Um, I was there to check out the Saturday morning yoga they had, um, which was really funny because they had it inside, but the instructor was like, oh, let's go do the pictures and videos outside after the class is over because it will be so much nicer. So we went ahead and did that. Um, and it was, it was fine. Like it looked, it looked really nice. Then we headed over to the Charles M. Schultz Museum. Um, I thought that it was going to rain, and while it's not raining in these clips, it did start to rain as we were leaving here, so I'm glad that we didn't try and go somewhere outdoors. I was afraid that we would travel all the way to go somewhere that was outside and then like pay to go to a garden or something and then have it start raining on us. So we went and checked out this museum. Um, Charles Schultz is huge in Santa Rosa. You've probably already noticed some of the Peanuts um, statues that were around the town. Um, I didn't know, but his nickname is Sparky, and I guess everyone called him that. So this whole museum was dedicated to him and his work on um, Peanuts and Charlie Brown and Snoopy and it was very cool. There was a lot of interesting artwork and there was a lot of um, comics from other artists that he had inspired. They even had um, a rec 
recreation of his whole office, um, as well as they took um, some art they found from one of the homes that he lived in that he painted for his daughter. Um, they removed the entire wall from the home and they brought it to this museum. So the museum is pretty like in depth. Um, you could spend a lot of time there. It was really interesting and a lot of people went without kids too, which I was surprised by. I wasn't sure that we should have been going because we didn't have the kids with us that time, but it was it was interesting it was definitely a very different experience with the kids because we could read more and take in the exhibits more but i'm sure they would have loved it too if they had gone After we left the museum, we went to check out the standalone store. They have an entire complex. So there's, I think, a cafe slash an ice cream shop, um, a skating rink, and I think it's an indoor ice skating rink, and maybe one other thing. And then they have this store that's a standalone. You don't have to pay um, entry to the museum to go to any of the other places in the plaza. So this is the store slash gift shop that you can just walk around um no admission anyone can go in and i was surprised to see that they had this whole upper area you walked up a ramp and then they had a whole entire area of um art and different things that I would think that you would see in the museum and this was all here for free so if you were short on time or you didn't want to um, invest the money in buying tickets to go to the museum you could go to just this store and have like a mini museum type experience and it was really cool it was um, fun to look around. They definitely had a lot of cool things in there and they were even showing a little um, Charlie Brown special on the TV upstairs and they had a little um, bench couchy thing that you could sit on and watch the the special. Um, that time it was Valentine's Day because we went in February and my husband also recorded these Legos because he really thought that that was very cool. Then we went to lunch at this um, place called Kiraku Sushi in Santa Rosa and they had this really cool theme where they had a car that brought you your food and there was robots but we did not record a whole lot in there but we got ramen and sushi and it was very good. Here we are on the third day of our trip. This is the final day um, at the hotel breakfast. We did do a bunch of other things on day two, but it was raining and I was um, weary of taking out my camera in the rain. So we did not record any of that but this is the hotel breakfast which was actually very nice and very filling and pretty even um it was a great way to start off the day because you can get filled up and so after the breakfast we checked out and then we headed over to a coffee shop because i personally do not like hotel coffee um i actually don't like drip coffee at all so went to a coffee shop i didn't get footage of that either because we were in a rush i stopped at a coffee shop when i absolutely shouldn't have because we had a reservation here this is larson family winery in sonoma and it was beautiful so we got a break in the rain here but like this area um their entire winery their tasting area is all outside and their awnings had caught all the rain and i did at one point the wind picked up and i ended up getting wet out there which 
I just laughed about because it was so funny, but it was a great tasting. They were very friendly. We loved their winery dogs. And while we were there, we got to see the most giant, beautiful rainbow. We did not get to enjoy their outdoor amenities, however, because it was all wet as you can see here but it was very laid back and very different from what I'm used to when I'm wine tasting in Napa um, Sonoma is a lot more relaxed which I was told but it still kind of took me off guard it reminds me a lot of Clarksburg which is a region closer to where we live We finished off our trip going to this spot, which is Jacuzzi Winery in Sonoma as well. Um, they are actually related to Klein, which is a much more famous wine brand. Um, and they're actually just right across the street. So this property is a bit more personal to the owners. Um, the building itself was structured after their old family home um, back in Italy before they came to America and we had this lovely um, employee her name was Kirsten and she gave us a whole tour um, we got to see everything there was at Jacuzzi and it was really beautiful it's a little bit more fancy um, obviously than Larson um, not quite as laid back, but still pretty relaxed. And um, they have this beautiful outdoor area where they host events. You know, if you're going to go to Sonoma or Napa for the first time, I understand why people wouldn't want to come at this time of year in February because it's going to be a lot more beautiful, um, this area in particular, once all of the flowers and the vines start blooming again but the one plus you get when you go in February is it's not very crowded this was a weekend and you can see there's not that many people there so they were able to facilitate this tour for us and um here is a view from they have a tower that you could climb this stairs and see the view from the area and that was very lovely and it was a very lovely way to end our trip so thank you for watching this vlog and hanging in there with us and follow along for more content